Hey, it's Steve. Today we're going to take a look at an old American Flyer set from about 1960 and see if we can get it to run. Let's watch. So I've got a few of these old structures. I have one of these old metal tunnels, which is pretty cool as well. They kind of just snap together like this. You could run O-scale trains through this tunnel, it's really big, but uh, kind of a neat thing there. And then probably more than a decade ago, I bought some of this S-gauge track from American or from a S helper service. And this is one of the most realistic looking tracks I've ever seen in terms of track with roadbed. I mean, this is really nice if you can, if that'll show up there, but it has a realistic looking texture to the roadbed itself. The ties have a lot of great texture and detail and color to them. It looks very realistic. And the rail is blackened. So, it I mean, you can put this down and it looks really, really nice out of the box. I kind of forgot about this and how good it actually looked. But now the train itself. Uh, I do have the old American Flyer Transformer, the AC Gilbert Company, New Haven, Connecticut. And... I do have the old American Flyer track, which is in kind of, it's not rough shape per se, but, but it doesn't run well in terms of putting something on it just because it's, it's pretty uh, oxidized and I did, I'd really have to, to kind of scrape this, almost sand it down to get it to, uh, to actually work. I do have some more accessories down here at the bottom, but this was the uh, 442, I think it's like an Atlantic. Um, set that they put out maybe in 1960-ish. I believe only the tender picks up power. I had to rewire this at one point, and so I don't know if the motor is still gonna work. You know, the brushes are probably old and uh, worn out and everything, but we'll give it a shot here. And then the set came with three passenger cars, these New Haven ones. Just a uh, baggage railway express agency car, so mail, baggage type car. I do have this old audio engineer that I don't believe works anymore, but it, uh, gosh, it has like a microphone and you could like speak the commands and say go back up or whatever. And this is really old. <laughs> Manufactured by Electro Nuclear Devices. Interesting. Then I have all, all these other random accessories, you know, got your telegraph poles and uh, a trestle set. I think this, I think the track set was like a figure eight, so it was like an over and under. There's a control button for some type of accessory. Then, oh, I think I think uh, this was for an uncoupler. Yeah, this was an electric an electric uncoupler and a control button for that. Anyway, yeah, some old stuff here. Pretty cool to go back and, and see. <laughs> so pretty cool to go back and look at all this stuff. So anyway, I'm going to get some wire solder to some track, get the wheels on the locomotive cleaned up a little bit, maybe run uh, a cleaning block over the track itself once I get it set up, and we'll see if we can get it to run. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Will it run using the original American Flyer power pack here? We will see. Oh. Oh, drop the check. Try to add some lubrication here and see if we can make it run a little better. Okay, so this ended up being a bigger project than I thought, and it's going to be an ongoing one. I'll have to have a follow-up video on this sometime, you know, weeks down the road. But uh, yeah, I was trying to get everything to run better. I got things to run actually pretty well for a little while, and then it kind of fell apart. And so 
there's, I took everything apart and there's just a lot of stuff that is bad. And so I'm gonna go ahead and try to rebuild everything, get some new parts. I mean, the springs and the motor are bad. You know, there was corrosion in different spots. You know, the wiring, the insulation was falling apart. Uh, you know, a lot of things weren't good. And so uh, there was some binding with the little plunger that uh, helps generate the smoke puffs that match the wheel rotations and all that. So, you know, a lot of things need to be cleaned up, uh, re-greased and reworked in different ways, I think. But I'm gonna try to get this running well at some point, then I'll have a follow-up video and we'll see where things are at and we'll look at what worked and didn't and what I did and how I got it to either run well or not run well or whatever happens. And I think it'd be a cool thing to show my dad, uh, you know, since this was something that he had when he was a kid. And uh, if I can get it to run well again, that'd be, I think, kind of a cool, uh, a cool presence. So anyway, look for some follow-up videos on this old American Flyer 442 Atlantic, and we'll see if I can get it to perform pretty well. So anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.